Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG Emperor. He's got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So look, check this out, man. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try to make it as short and concise as possible. But we had a lot of games to cover, man. The past two days, I think we had five games. So, you know what I'm saying? Five games in the WNBA. So, you know. That's a lot of games. That's 10 teams. There's only 12 teams in the league, right? So uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> that's the majority of the league, you know, vast majority. So, but, but what was crazy, man, these last two nights, I'm calling them the nights of the double double. Everybody had a double double. Well, almost. You know, we had a little disappointment in one of the last games, but we won't get to it last. You know, so it actually happened last too. So that, that's, that's of course it. Let me grab my notes real quick. Yes, sir. So, um, so, so since we had so many double doubles, I'm going to highlight the uh, the double double and those that contributed and. Uh, in multiple categories, you know, what I'm saying these phenomenal women that contributed in multiple categories. So let's do it. Let me close these blinds real quick. Get get that glare out your face, out your face. Let's go, let's go, man. So let's let's get right to it, man. The first game that we saw that I saw was the Minnesota Lynx, and they beat the Atlanta Dream. You know, in a pretty low, it was a pretty low scoring game. You know, sixty eight to fifty five. It was led by Defisa Collier's uh, sixteen. But y'all remember. Y'all remember Dirk Nowitzki? Y'all remember Dirk Nowitzki, a.k.a. Big Dirk? Yeah, well, we got Big Dork. You know what I'm talking about? Big Dork, Dorka Juhas. You know what I'm saying? Pronounce, pronounce you hus. Dorka, you hus, man. Don't worry, you know? Don't worry Don't worry about the Big Dork. You know, I got a PhD, so technically I'm a dork, too. You know, I got a PhD in engineering, so I'm a dork, too. You know what I'm talking about? So Big Dork dropped 10 points and 11 boards for the Lynx, you know? While Tina Charles, she dropped a double-double as well with 14 points and 10 rebounds for the Dream, but it just wasn't enough, you know, as the Minnesota Lynx, they take that. Uh, what was the score again? 68 to 55. I need, I need to go get my, grab my glasses, you know what I'm talking about? I'm struggling to see. And then we got the uh, Indiana Fever. Uh, the next game, we, uh, we see the Indiana Fever beat the Washington Mystics has a score of 88 to 81. It was led by a combined effort of 44 points for Malia Boston and Kelsey Mitchell. Uh, they scored 22 points apiece, you know what I'm saying? And they both shot an identical uh, field goal percentage of an impressive 73%. Damn! I think it was 72.7 to be exact. And they both went for 8 for 11. So they had a great game, you know, contributed evenly. And, you know, you know, I can't, I can't forget about CC. You know, we have another double double from from Caitlin Clark. You know, she she went 18 points and 12 rebounds on 50 percent shooting. So she's looking good out there, man. She's looking good out there. And Ariel Atkins, she looked good as well. She scored 27 for the Mystics, but it wasn't enough to overcome CC's double double and Aaliyah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell's 44 points combined as 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 a Indiana Fever beats the Washington Mystics uh, at a score of 88 to 81. Let's move on to the next game. The next game was the Las Vegas Aces and my Seattle Storm. You know, I'm born in Seattle, raised in Florida, though. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, Seattle Storm is fun fact. The first WNBA game that I went to was Sue Bird and the Seattle Storm. But let's get right, man. So uh, Las Vegas Aces versus the Seattle Storm. We saw Asia Wilson and Jackie Young. Oh, my goodness. They went off. They went insane. Asia Wilson... Uh, and Jackie Young, they dropped 27 and 32 points, respectively. Uh, they combined for 59 points together. That's crazy, man. Damn. I'm sorry. But even with all those points, that large point total, guess who stole the show? It was none other than the phenomenal point guard, Chelsea Gray, man. Chelsea Gray stole the show because she made her return. <laughs> the king has returned. I can't believe it. Her much anticipated return, man, the crowd went crazy, and she even got in a few of her signature no look passes out there, like, ah, catch that, ah, catch that. Whoop, whoop. Splits the two defenders. AC the swish. First assist of the season for Chelsea Gray and her 1500th in her career. It was going crazy. She hit it behind the back and everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, down to Jackie Young. Jackie Young wasn't able to convert, but it was still a nice, beautiful pass. You know, the Las Vegas Aces, they get a dominant win over the Seattle Storm, uh, 94 to 83. That was a final score, but throughout the course of the game, it was, the, the point disparity didn't even seem that close. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Asia, though, she almost had a double-double, dropping nine boards with her 27 points. But for the Seattle Storm now, uh, Ezzy Magab... I'm sorry, I, I almost pronounced her name right. Ezzy Magbagori got one. She got it. She got a double double with 19 points and 13 rebounds for the Storm. And Nika, you know, she led the team. Of course, Nika Gumake, she led the team with 21 points herself, man. So shout out to the Las Vegas Aces. You know what I'm saying? They did their thing. They did their thing, man. And then now, next up, we have the Chicago Sky. <laughs> the Chicago Sky and AR went crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you talk about a great game, man. Chicago Sky, they beat the Dallas Wings. AR 
drops a double double a huge double double with this victory man she has 16 points and 18 rebounds me blood clot a career high in rebounds you know her short career but her short but spectacular career you know she's a rookie uh that 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 uh that double double helped the chicago sky and their four game skid on the losing end you know but not only that man A.R. Angel Reese, she has set a record in the WNBA already, man, with seven consecutive double doubles. Yes, she's the first rookie to score, to drop double, seven double doubles in a row as a rookie, man. And then also, in addition to that, it wasn't just all about her. Marina Mabry, her teammates, and uh, Kennedy Carter, they contributed 19 points apiece. Yeah. You know, um, so that was, that was, that was, they had a good contribution for the team. You know what I'm saying? But A.R., she stole the show with the 16 points and 18 rebounds. It was crazy, man. Oh. And then also on the other side of this uh, of the ball with the Dallas Wings, man, Arike Ogubowale, you know, she went off, she dropped 31 points, but it just wasn't enough to compensate for the for for AR, her huge double double, man, as a sky win, 83 to 72. Even Camilla Cardoso, she did her thing. She almost almost had a double double. You know, she had nine points and eleven boards. One more point. Just 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 hit, hit one more free throw. You know what I'm talking about? And we gonna get there, you know? So uh let, let's let's move on. Let's move on. The last game of the night. We had no double doubles. Boo! <laughs> no double doubles, but it was still a great game. A lot transpired, man. We we saw the Liberty, the New York Liberty, beat the Los Angeles Sparks, man. But like I said, no, neither team had a double double, so they messed up the streak. But it's okay. We gonna keep it going. We can still go report on it. You know what I'm saying? We are unbiased right here. Uh, but there was no double double. But Sabrina Ionescu, she went off with a game leading season high, 31 points. On the Jets. Now here's Yonescu. Connects from downtown. Said almost, almost had a double double with nine assists. You know, say she not not quite, but she was almost there, man. The Liberty beat the Sparks 93 to 80 in their first game without the rookie sensation Brink Brink, man. You know, Cameron Brink, she sustained a, a knee injury. Actually, she tore ACL in the last game, unfortunately. We wish her a swift recovery. But yeah, man, in their first game without rookie Brink Brink, they the Sparks looked kind of sparkless to be. <laughs> To be frank, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all welcome as always, man. That is the recap for the WNBA. They went off. AR dropped uh, a huge double-double, 60 points, 18 rebounds. And, you know, she was the first rookie to have seven consecutive double-doubles double in the WNBA, man. So, shout out to AR. Shout out to all the, all the ballers, all the hoopers, man. Asia, Asia Wilson to Jackie Young went off. Chelsea Gray returned, among other things, man. I appreciate y'all welcome as always, man. Remember what God, man and woman, excuse me. Remember what God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. Till the next time. The doctor's out. Peace. Oh, before I leave, you know, we have visitors today, you know. Uh, Kimba Abandoned right here, too. They want to say hello. They over here chilling. Look at Kimba. Nosy butt. Bandit just sleep. He lazy. No, now they want to look. They want to say hello. You know, they usually don't be chilling with me. They usually be outside in the backyard, but they chilling with me today, so I had to show you. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.